Hi, my name is Nellie Ward. Michael Thomas. Eddie Polanco. For this project, we decided that we were going to discuss global etiquette. Global etiquette refers to the cultural guidelines for what is appropriate and inappropriate and polite and impolite. Whenever you decide to visit a different culture or do cultural interactions such as business, social settings, or just going to visit, it's important to understand what is culturally appropriate and inappropriate in different places. All right, tips for global etiquette. First tip is to show respect. Respect is understood internationally, so show that you respect your culture. Secondly, is show that you care. Third is knowing your geography. Know where your country is located and the cultures that surround it. Next is mind your manners. What is polite in one culture may not be polite in another, so consider that. Know how to address people. The practice of using first names, surnames, titles, university degrees, or religious designations varies from country to country. Define acronyms and slang. Define, clarify, or eliminate any acronyms or slang that may be used in your culture. And know the appropriate greetings. Things to avoid. Using rude hand gestures. Unless you are counting on your fingers, avoid any hand gestures that you think may be inappropriate in that culture. Appearing self-confident. Self-important, so be humble. Discussing religion is not safe to bring up unless people you are visiting do first. Discussing politics, you should never do that. And unintentionally causing embarrassment. People are embarrassed by different things in different cultures. Saying no may be bad in certain cultures as well. International business etiquette. Be aware of any differences between the host country and your country. Never forget to say thank you, be polite. Always remember to switch your phone off. If you disagree with something, instead of criticizing, try to understand their point of view. And always be honest in whatever you're saying. Okay, I'll be talking, I'll be saying some examples of different cultural etiquette. Um, <clears throat> in most Asian countries, um, a presentation card is seen as uh, an extension of the person it represents. And it could be seen as rude and disrespectful if you fold it, um, fold the, the card, if you write on it, or you just shove it into your pocket without even looking at it. And <clears throat> another example is that in the Philippines, it could be um, seen as aggression, um, a strong handshake. You got to be very careful with that. Um, when dining in China, never make yourself too clear um, your plate out, out of politeness. You should leave some food just to um, show um, and, not, and not just to show uh, generosity to your host. And <clears throat> now I'll be talking about some business etiquette examples. Um, in Latin America, um, they don't take time very, very serious. So punctuality is not str like strictly enforced. Um, at, a, at a business level, it is acceptable to be five to 10 minutes late as long as you know the five in advance. Uh, also, in meetings, uh, meetings usually have a starting point, but they, they usually don't have like an ending point. And in Brazil, it is expected a significant amount of effort put into appearance. Um, when going into a meeting, people dress nice, they always have a, like a nice haircut or nails done, hair done. In North America, they take time very serious. Um, they they uh, tend to be really very punctual, and they don't mix their like their personal with, with business. And in conclusion, uh, being respectful, understanding other people's culture, is the first step um, in having a successful relationship. And also, it is important to know uh, how to work with another culture. Thank you. Thank you.